All right, welcome everyone. I'd like to offer you a wellness yoga class focusing on the low back and sacrum. So we'll begin with just a simple breath awareness. I'm gonna ask you to bring both your hands to your chest, taking a comfortable inhale. And as you do that, let your arms come out to reflect the inhale. And as you exhale, draw the hands in, chin slightly comes down and repeat, inhale. Letting the breath go from the chest to the belly, drawing the belly in as you exhale. And repeat two more times, inhaling and exhaling. One more time, inhaling, just feeling and noticing the breath, bringing your mind to the present moment of your breath and your postures. So we're gonna to move to a lying position. So bringing yourself down onto your mat. And just allowing your shoulders to roll back down, imprinting into the mat, palms pressing into the floor, feet walking back towards the back side of your hips and taking a comfortable breath here, inhaling again feeling the expansion from the chest to the belly and exhaling. On your next inhale, as you inhale, press down into your feet, let your hips come up into deep how pick them or bridge pose. Exhale, rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae and repeating that. Inhale, lifting up, grounding into your feet, pressing up through your hips, and exhale, rolling your back down vertebrae by vertebrae. And again, inhaling up. And exhaling down, just feeling the flow of your back onto the floor. Two more times, inhaling up. And exhaling down. And then allowing your left leg to lengthen down onto the floor, the right knee to raise and place both hands on top of your right knee. Taking a comfortable inhale here and exhale, drawing that knee in and inhale, letting the knee go back. Keeping the left leg grounded into the mat. So as you exhale, just feel the stretch in the low back and hips along with the front side of your leg. And repeat two more times, slowly exhaling, working to keep this leg down and feeling that stretch as you press through the heel and inhale. Then lower this leg down and extending that leg, right leg, and lifting that left knee up, hands on top of your left knee and inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling and inhaling knee to chest exhaling and lifting your right leg up and placing both hands with your elbows relaxed in, your knees tracking over the tops of your hip. Take a nice inhale here. Exhale, drawing the belly in and drawing the knees towards your chest. Knee to chest pose. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Then you're going to lower the right leg and the left leg and just pause. We're going to shift our hips to the right, drop our knees and bring ourselves all the way over and down to the mat. 
Letting our hands come close to our shoulders and our forehead on the floor. We're gonna inhale here, peeling our chest off. And as you exhale, turning your right ear down to the floor. And inhale, coming up, head center. And exhale, turning your left ear down. Then widening your legs about hips width apart. And inhale, drawing your chest up again, squeezing those shoulder blades towards your back. And exhaling, turning your right ear down. Inhale, drawing back up. Exhale, turning your left ear down. Then widening your legs as wide as the mat. Again, this helps to activate the outer hips. You're gonna inhale and lift up. And exhale again, turning that right ear down. Inhaling, again, sliding those shoulders back. Exhaling down. And just resting here for a breath as we've completed our Bhujam Dasana variation, Cobra. Then hugging your elbows to your side and pressing up, coming to that tabletop position. As you inhale, draw your chest forward, relax your belly. As you exhale, sink your hips towards your heels, bowing to the floor. Feeling that low back stretch. As you inhale, feel like you're pulling your shoulders back and lifting your chest up. Again, as you exhale, drawing that belly in, lowering that tailbone towards the floor, hips towards your heels. Going only where it feels comfortable for you. So that might mean a smaller range of motion. Maybe exhaling, bending the elbows, bowing to the floor and that feels comfortable. So that's where you stay. Remember, this is your practice, working towards your improved range of motion in your low back, exhaling. And inhaling. And we're gonna draw our knees to the right side of our mat, dropping our hips down and coming back towards the floor rolling ourselves down vertebrae by vertebrae. Working the insides of our hips by allowing our knees to come out and the soles of our feet to connect in, hands on our belly, taking a comfortable inhale and taking the exhale to slowly close your legs back towards each other. Then inhale, open the legs up Returning to that butterfly position. Inhaling, exhale, closing halfway. Inhaling in place. And closing all the way. Inhale, opening all the way again. Now we will take three exhales to close our legs. Inhaling in place. Exhale, closing a third of the way. Inhaling in place. Exhale, closing another third. Inhaling in place. Exhale, closing all the way, pressing our knees together. And inhaling out one more time taking four times to close, exhaling a fourth of the way, feeling that activation, inhaling in place, exhale, closing another fourth, inhaling in place, exhale, closing two thirds of the way, inhaling, and exhale, closing all the way, pressing gently into our knees.
and gently draw the knees up, left knee up, right knee up, hands on top of your knees again. And again, knees to chest to neutralize any low backs, stress into the back. So as you exhale, you're gently drawing the belly in and pressing your back towards the floor, inhaling, letting the back slightly lift off the floor, exhaling, inhaling and last time like this exhaling in now we're gonna have a variation where you're gonna bring your hands behind your knees and inhale your legs up exhale in place placing your hands on the inside of your thighs and inhaling your legs out Exhaling, drawing them in. Inhale, extending them out. Exhale, drawing them in. Inhale, extending them out. And exhale, drawing them in. One more breath. Inhale, extending them out. Exhale, drawing them in. Inhale in place, exhale, draw them back. And repeating that easy sequence of drawing your knees slowly towards your chest and inhale away. Exhale in, inhale away. Exhale in. And inhale away. So you're going to bring your knees, feet down, and your hands out to the side as we work into the uh, into Jatta Paraviti, a little twisting pose. So you'll have two options here. You can inhale and let your knees drop to the right with your feet staying on the floor and inhale and exhale so again that we have any challenge with lifting your knees up you can stay with your feet grounded otherwise see if we can lift our knees up inhaling in place exhale dropping our knees down and looking towards the opposite shoulder Inhale, lifting that leg back up. And exhale, dropping it to the other side, looking towards your opposite shoulder. And inhale, back to center. And exhale, drawing it down. And we're gonna do a little bit of activation for our outer hips. So you're gonna inhale, lift this leg up. And exhale, draw it back down. Your head can be centered or looking to the other side. Inhale, drawing it up, pulling the head of your femur in towards your hip. Exhale. Inhale, again, only going where it feels comfortable. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, this time lifting up, followed by the bottom. And exhale to the other side, letting both heels and knees rest on the floor. Same motion that we did before. Inhale, lifting that top leg up. Exhale, bring it back towards the bottom knee. Inhale, drawing it up. Exhale, bringing it back towards the bottom knee. Inhale, bringing it up. And exhale, drawing it back down. One more time, inhale, drawing it up, and exhale, drawing it back down. And inhale, lifting up, bringing both knees back. And exhale, drawing that knee into the chest. Inhale, bringing it away. Exhale, drawing it in. 
Inhale, drawing it away. Two more times, just slowly lengthening your exhale to begin to prepare you for your rest pose. Exhale. And inhale, lowering the right leg down, followed by the left. And as we started the class, we'll end the class with our deep adipitam or bridge pose. This helps to balance and neutralize the stresses in the back. So again, you'll press into your feet and inhale, lifting up, going where it feels comfortable. And again, imagine your back like a pearl necklace, lowering each part of your spine down slowly. And inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up, really feel the engagement in those hips. And exhale down, pulling in through that belly button to slowly lower the back down. And again, inhale up. And exhale down. And last time, inhale up, feeling the lifting and lengthening through the spine. And exhale down. And just take two breaths here. And then if you have a pillow, it's recommended to just place it underneath your knees as we do our last posture known as Shavasana or Corpse Pose. So feel the weight of your body sinking into the floor, letting go of any muscle tensions. Bringing your awareness to the breath the rise and fall of the chest. Letting go of any thinking. See if you can fully let yourself feel the support of the floor. a great place to stay for a few more breaths if you like or we'll complete the practice by drawing your knees up rolling to your side pushing yourself up and coming back to that comfortable sitting position placing your hands on your thighs and taking a few breaths here just to connect with the work that yoga offers us in terms of union between our mind, our body, and our spirit. Taking that last breath together, raising our hands, drawing them inward to symbolize that union between the mind and the body, and bowing to your good work today. Namaste.